traders from around the globe, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. Let's dive into the markets because it has been super exciting. First I want to talk about is the SPY. Now if you take a look on Monday, we did have a glorious gap and go above the highs of these particular candles and not only did we gap and go, I think most of you will agree this is a perfect Maribozu candle. We, As you can see, the high and the close were exactly the same and the low and the open were exactly the same. So from the outset on that day, you should have been bullish from the get-go at open and I'm 100% certain that a lot of real life traders did catch that move in the morning room, including myself. Uh, so the SPY, like I said guys last week, most likely we would create a new all time high. I did say that most likely we would come create a new all time high before we rolled over. Now. At this current moment, I don't think that we are going to go bearish just yet. There is still a lot of bull stepping in. I didn't particularly uh, gauge that this candle was going to come in. A super bullish candle on the S&P. Um, so I was going to stay bullish for the next few days. So keep an eye on the SPY guys. Markets do still look bullish. Just stay long at this current moment. Take a look at the E-minis. E-minis still grinding higher. We are currently in our fifth day of green right now. So we probably could deal with a little bit of a sideways action, a little bit of small pullback, and uh, we'll see what transpires from that one. Let's look at the Dow Jones ETF, ticker symbol DIA, and we have had a beautiful retest gap here, which has not been filled. We did get a nice little retest gap here to the to this new all-time high and uh, we are trending beautifully guys and as you can see here we did just come straight back down to the 10 and slowly bounce I if you do recall I mentioned on this day here with this red candle that to look for a bullish gap up and as you can see we did get that so if you guys did catch that on the day trade uh, for a day trade then well done to you guys now look at the IWM breaking out of this consolidation uh, this consolidation period guys absolutely amazing super bullish it does make a lot of sense that we are kind of selling off a little bit here I do expect us to have a small little retest but from here we do look bullish we didn't close below the 20 I did mention that in my last review and uh, we are still looking strong so if you are looking to take the IWM probably around 160.36 uh, 16036 would be a nice little entry to buy the dip. Let's take a look at some stocks. Starbucks creating an amazing opportunity for a buy here. If you take a look at the weekly chart, kind of just pausing here, but more importantly, look at this daily chart right here. We have got a beautiful double bottom forming right here. Almost a, almost a triple bottom slash inverted head and shoulders slash oh my god check out this volume it is super amazing we are looking bullish guys we have had a fairly decent pullback as you can see here from the highs we've already pulled back you know roughly 20 roughly 17 percent so very good uh, a very good buying location for Starbucks if you are looking to go long uh, so bear this in mind, this could be a very nice buy the dip opportunity. If I was looking to trade this, I would look for an entry above the high of this candle with a stop below here. And that would basically be my setup. So if you are looking for a bullish trade, keep your eyes peeled on Starbucks for a limit uh, stop limit buy. And the one that a lot of real life traders have been talking about is Square. I, I did mention that we would pause here at the 200 simple moving average. We are still bullish and we are getting some amazing gappage. Right now, if we can gap above this particular candle um, and close above that high, like I said guys, there is nothing stopping this from going higher. So keep that in mind. We might get a little bit of sideways action here. And uh, if we do get a nice gap above this, she is going to rocket ship higher. So keep your eyes peeled on square. Ticket symbol JD for JD.com. Look at this amazing retest of this resistance level. We did get a beautiful breakout. Here's the retest and most likely we will 
probably look to double bottom and 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 slowly grind higher. Had they had a great earnings, they did gap up over earnings and then just obviously faded. And now we are just getting some dippage and dip buying opportunities happening. So everyone who's in JD, stay long and strong. There is more to come on this one. Let's take a look at Pinterest, ticker symbol P-I-N-S. Now, this is an amazing candlestick formation here, guys. Look at this volume coming in. Uh, do not be scared of this one, guys. We I have mentioned that this is most likely going to be the low on Pinterest. But more importantly, for all you uh, for all you traders out there who like to use the RSI, I just want to point something out to you that will look of relevance to you. I'm just going to go into the hourly chart, and to me, this actually looks like what you would call divergence, right? So we are creating some lower lows here and some higher highs, uh, higher lows here. So guys, Pinterest, very, very, looking very, very strong at the moment. We are getting some buying coming in. RSI obviously on the daily chart is looking fairly oversold. And this was a retest gap, mind you. So it was a, uh, it was a red candle gapping down. And right now we are just simply retesting. We could obviously go lower. That is a fact. Um, but more importantly, keep an eye on this volume. We are very, very strong and we are at a very decent value area to buy. So all you guys in Pinterest, stay long. This looks like a winner. Let's look at the Aussie markets, the all odds. Now I did mention that we were coming back down to the 100 and we will most likely break out and go higher, which we have done almost creating a new all time high probably going to happen either tomorrow or the next day but we'll wait and see breaking out of this beautiful ascending wedge and we are rocketing and rolling so all lords looks to go higher Let's take a look at cba and cba just forming an amazing amazing little uh double bottom-esque pattern with beautiful volume and right now, guys, if you are in long, probably could wait another couple of days, but this is a nice level to start selling some options. Probably around 83 is a nice level to sell some options. However, we are getting some bullishness. Maybe just look for a little bit more consolidation. If we start to get a little bit of consolidation, guys, that'll be a time to start selling some options against your long-term uh, your long -term, um, investments on CBA. So keep that in mind if you are a long-term investor on CBA. Let's take a look at Coles Group Limited, uh, ticker symbol COL, and nothing to see here, guys. Just creating some new all-time highs, rocketing higher. On the daily, we had a beautiful, nice little double bottom off the 100 back in August, and pretty much have never looked back. We did break out of this particular high right now, right there, and shockingly enough, we retested, and then we went higher. So... Coles looking to go higher. I'm not going to be buying up here. I will obviously wait for at least a nice little dip back down to 15.50 at the very least. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled on that one. But if you are in Coles, keep holding strong. Uh, Telstra, ticker symbol TLS, breaking out of this amazing double bottom here and bouncing off the 200, shocking once again. On the weekly chart, we can see it a little bit more evidently with this beautiful little double bottom. Now, this is a very large week, uh, this is a very large candle, especially on the daily. So just expect it to pull back at around 50% to retest this neckline, guys, at around uh, 363. Uh, on the daily chart, and that would be a nice little dip buying opportunity. But if you did catch this, if you did catch this bounce off the 200, then you are a rock star. Let's take a look at the commodities: crude oil, U.S. oil, not doing a whole bunch, just chilling. We did break above the 200, which is super amazing. And guys, you just want to buy low, sell high here. We obviously will go higher. Um, I'm not going to be buying at this at this particular level right now, but. Just look for a nice little dip buying opportunity and you will rock it higher. And last but not least, actually one more to go. We've got gold. Gold not doing a whole lot. We are forming somewhat of a double bottom here. This could potentially bounce and there's not really a lot in the way of support here. Um, it's very, very short term support here. So we could very easily roll down 
probably back down to uh, 1400 and then bounce off the 200 that is a possibility makes a lot of sense um, because then obviously you know that would be that would be retesting these these highs back here uh, so that would makes that's what makes the most sense to me guys with gold especially with the market moving higher um, gold is obviously going to start retracing just a little bit and you can see here we did close below uh, we did close below this low uh, this low here and right now we're just retesting that level there so gold gold looking a little bit weak at the moment um, and last but not least the Aussie dollar just pausing right now waiting to see what happens um, if you are in a short position probably look to lower your stops just to lock in your profits um, you know probably above these highs here we could potentially bounce here um, I'm not overly bullish as I have said before but the Aussie dollar just looks to keep grinding ever so uh, ever so slightly lower so keep that in mind all right guys that's it for me for this week I am going to be in transit going to Sydney this week so I won't unfortunately be able to give you a stock review on Thursday but I'll be back next week and uh, if you want me to review any tickers on Tuesday next week let me know in the comment section below or hit us up in the Facebook group I'd love to hear from you guys but until then have a great week enjoy your weekend you guys rock you're amazing and until next time love life live life and trade it I'll see you all soon bye